my beautiful Cancerians, welcome to April 2019. The Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising. Okay, love in general, what do we need to know? Thank you for being my highest private reading booker by a country mile, I have to say. It's probably, at one point you were probably 90% of all my readings. <laughs> I know, it's weird, isn't it? Cancerians. Okay. Remember, this is your eclipse year. So big things this year, big things. What do we need to know? That's one that we need to know. Oh, baby. <laughs> what have you got to tell me? Okay. Put that to one side. I sort of know because I have done so many private readings for you that I know there's a lot of that. Whoa, going down. Oh, itchy nose. Right. Mm. On again, off again. On again, off again. Push me, pull me. We're on again, we're off again. Sometimes general readings are general and sometimes <laughs> there's just such a clear story. Okay, on again, off again, oh my God. <sighs> Mercury turns direct kind of today. It's got a shadow period. For me, it's not really direct till the 5th of April when the new moon in Aries comes along. You're going to have to ask yourself some difficult questions here. Difficult questions. Who's that? Ho, ho, ho. Okay. This isn't for all of you. This is for some of you. Some of you are dealing with a very difficult dog to keep on the porch here. Hmm. Right. When I get the devil card, I start asking myself, apart from the fact it's Capricorn, which is your opposite sign, and also the sign that's having the eclipses. When I get that devil card, it tells me there is some shadow energy whether that is codependence addiction fear sexual manipulation that's the word i'm looking for manipulation in general low vibrational stuff this is a, you've either got an on again, off again relationship with this person. Yeah, you've got an on again, off again relationship. Yeah, you have. <laughs> Look, okay. No, it's not you. Okay. For the devil, I get lady of the forest. So it's not you. Lady of the forest is integrated with the forest floor so you may be someone this is probably for the females who's integrated and spiritual and you've worked on yourself and you feel like you've got to a point where you'll be able to spot the narcissist in the pack or the deal with the low behavior of somebody or whatever it is and feels like you're going to get tested on that front, okay? Because I got the Eight of Cups in reverse, Saturn in Pisces, the card where Saturn, the sensible sign, has a good old word with Pisces, unconditional love, and Cancer, you are pretty unconditional loving as well, okay? I can say that, I'm a Pisces, you're a Cancerian. Not that much difference, I mean, there's some, but in terms of the unconditional woohoo love, hmm, we get each other on that one, don't we? 
Eight of Cups, Saturn says to unconditional lovers, for God's sake, <laughs> walk away. And whether you did or whether they did, somebody did, okay? But when I get that card in reverse, it's what I call the weak returner. Someone is changing their mind. Usually you want them back and they've become unsure about what they did. When I get the Eight of Cups in reverse, I start looking for other cards to go with it. Uh, I want to know if the Six will come up, which we haven't got here. And I'm looking for judgment, okay? And here it is. Judgment in the reverse. Judgment is the card of another chance to judge, a second chance. It's not as basic, of course, as, oh yes, judgment, second chance. But when the Eight of Cups in reverse comes up with it, there is this concept of weak returning. The weak returns. Over here we've got the Nine of Swords. This is a card of great anxiety. Some sleepless nights over this. Definitely nail biting, you know, and a feeling of being up in your head about it, worrying about it, being paranoid, being jealous, feeling insecure, all of the normal good stuff that we water signs do when things are not going right, okay? It's very emotional, you've been very emotional. Four of Cups in reverse, tears, processing. For some of you, you've really come a long way with this because for some of you, you were dealing with a narcissist for sure. There was gaslighting, there was a lack of information, there was the Ace of Swords in reverse. We've just been through Mercury retrograde, which is all this kind of energy. You were giving more than they were. You were giving more than you were receiving, which is what Cancerians very often do in relationships. Because you're nice, because you're empathic. Six of Cups in reverse. This person is selfish. Then this card flew out. The paradox. They want you when they feel you're getting back on your feet. And they can talk you round for some of you. In some ways, this is kind of unavoidable. I feel like this person's going to come back and test you, okay? You're going to get a chance to judge again. In the middle of judgment and the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles taking a reckoning. You know, how far have we come? What have they actually got to offer? What do they bring to the table? Are they with me? Are they against me? In the middle of your reading, the Queen of Wands, there is a need for you to be very uncancerian and take on some of the qualities of a fire queen, okay? Male or female, you need to... <coughs> Excuse me. You need to grow a pair, really, and I'm, that's not insulting. I'm, I'm a water sign too, and we tend not to. We tend to give people a lot of flex, be very allowing. Yeah, you need to get real. You really need to get real about this person. By the way, Cancer, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the wiggly bell so you get my live videos and pick a card readings. Right. Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups in reverse, Fantasy Future card. Often, us water signs, when we really like somebody and there's a gap between how we would like to be treated and what's coming forward, we make up the gap by wishful thinking, okay? We all know we do this as water signs. It's a, it's a good quality because we give people the benefit of the doubt a lot. But it also trips us up sometimes if people choose to take advantage of that. And with some of you, this person did. So when they return to you in April, in whichever way that takes its shape, 
and it may be quite unexpected I think as well for you you're going to need to be very realistic about it in in terms of this seven of pentacles so let's say there's a romantic speech coming your way flowers aftershave whatever intensity talk romantic stuff You want to be contemplating it in a pentacles way. In other words, what are you bringing to the table? What have you got with you? What's in your bag? What's in your emotional bag? Are you bringing something more than wishful thinking? That's the question you're going to need to ask yourself. You're also, and of course, it always starts with us. You're going to have to ask yourself, why am I here listening to this? Where am I coming from? What do they bring to my table? Because sure as heck wasn't enough before with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. There's a certain amount of self-interest. They need to become a lot kinder and go up on the scale. And you need to become more selfish. <laughs> and somehow that could meet. But you've got to be careful with this. I'm just taking a card for you. I've got the paradox. I've got the lady of the forest. This is particularly if you are someone who practices spirituality. Oh, yes. The green woman. OK, even I mean, this really goes together, actually. This could be someone you used to walk in a forest with, by the way. The green woman and the lady of the forest. What can save you here? Masculine or feminine is because there is a green man as well. And there is a Lord of the Forest. Both of these people, these women, have leaves for hair. OK, they they don't take decisions from the top of their head here or from the place of fear and anxiety or lack or scarcity. They take the decision as it grows up through them and comes out in a genuine, authentic and natural way. That's how you're going to need to treat this when it comes. It's not going to be especially easy for you. But the momentum is already started. I've got the hanged man in reverse. Now, this I find puzzling. I've got the king of cups here. Now, normally, if you're doing a reading and you're doing a water sign reading and the King of Cups comes up, you're going to think to yourself, OK, this is you, but I don't think this is you. So some of you are dealing with a fellow water sign and some of you are dealing with, and it will probably be a man, probably, who may have issues with alcoholism, drinking, drugs, chaotic thinking, lack of boundaries not being clear, got that devil energy, codependency. For some of you, it's narcissism, it's gaslighting, it's king of cups, you know, has no border to the sea. It's very woo nebulous. I want a card for the king of cups for you. I am. I'm going to take it from the same pack. That's why I'm hesitating. Sorry. <laughs> A lack of commitment, literally. Emotional ambivalence. This person did not step up and show you how much they cared. That card came up for Aquarius as well. Justice. We are between two Libra full moons. This will be settled, I think, by the time of the Libra full moon on the 19th of April. This person the first time round or the third time round or whatever it was never showed you enough commitment, consideration, whatever it is. You really need to ask what's in your emotional bag, what are they bringing to the table, 
do a reckoning, do an assessment and be a bit more tough love. Tough on yourself and tougher on them. They're going to expect the old you, the kind you, the sweet you, the giving you. Yeah, and that's a trap, okay? Don't fall for that, please. Don't fall for that. Chuck Spezzano love cards. Yeah, you're dealing with someone here who's a sulker. They sulk. You get withdrawal. This person either ghosted or withdrew. And you get loss. Now I'm not saying, some of them are hung up on their ex. Some of them have serious issues. I'm not saying they don't, okay? Sometimes that is kryptonite to a Cancerian, you know, because men with serious issues can still be narcissistic. And I do feel, no, it's not just men actually, it's women too. But in this case, the way the card is, it is a man on the card and I'm with the King of Cups and the Hierophant, I'm getting a lot of masculine energy. There's a certain narcissistic streak here. You've also come quite a long way. You know, you've got the Five of Cups in reverse. You've done some grieving for this already. Do you want to throw that all away? I don't know. This person is a paradox. Sweet and kind and selfish <laughs> all at the same time, okay? It's hard to deal with that. Get your ducks in a row, get your emotional ducks in a row before this happens and you should be okay as long as you stay in the present and you stay with what you know spiritually about yourself. You've got that Hierophant in reverse and that Justice card, there is some writing of karma but you need to help karma along a bit by being your best self, okay? Oh, look at that. Remember we just said stay in the present. In the here and now, you get the here and now. That's where the power is, okay? When people are paradoxical, when people are narcissistic, they tend to want to take you to the future or the past. They either want to zip things forward so you don't look around you right now, you don't see the red flags, or they come and reminisce. They're sentimental. Sentimental person is a dangerous thing, okay? Because it's not real. Remember that seven of cups in reverse. Go with what is real. The best advice I can give you this month. Go with what is real. You get emerging. That's your... sense of self and what you will and won't accept. That's what you're going to find out in April, okay? So please do subscribe to the channel and hit the wiggly bell if you want to get my live readings, my pick a card readings and my daily readings. Leave me a comment, hit the like button and do share the video as well, Cancer. Okay, good luck with that and I'll see you soon. Namaste.